Hello everyone, so tonight I saw a foreign language movie from Russia. It is called Leviathan, and this film has been quite popular in the last few months. It won the Golden Globe for Best Foreign Language Movie, and also is one of five films nominated for this year's Academy Awards. And this is now the, the, uh, the one out of those five films that I've actually seen, because out of all the foreign language movies I saw last year, none of them were nominated, sadly, and I was really depressed about that. So this, does this film deserve to be nominated for an Academy Award? Did it deserve to win the Golden Globe just last month? Let's find out. The movie, of course, takes place in Russia as we meet a family who's really trying to hold on to their property. And some corrupt public and political figures will do anything in their power to get that property, to tear it down and build something else. Now, I didn't know much about this film going in, and I, I will be honest with you, what only really intrigued me about watching this movie wasn't really the trailer. It was the fact that this movie is getting a lot of acclaim right now, winning awards and being nominated. And as I was watching it, you know, again, I like the way this movie starts. I don't know where this music uh, comes from. I don't know who wrote the music. I don't know anybody in this cast and crew at all. I mean, this is a Russian production and it's from people that I've never heard about in my entire life. But I really enjoyed the way this movie uh, began. We get to see locations of this area, the setting of the story, with this amazing music. Now, I don't know who wrote this music. It did sound like Philip Glass wrote it, but I, didn't, I couldn't find his name anywhere, so he, I guess, I'm guessing he did not write the score for that part. Uh, there's, there's minimal score in the film as we get to know these characters, and the people surrounding uh, this area, whether they're just regular folks or political figures or uh, or judges or because there's a lot of there's some court uh, uh, court drama in this film as well and 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 the we also get to know religious figures in this film from the clergy to priest and and how this all works with and the policemen so we're kind of centered in this little town in Russia as we get to know these people. But the main characters, of course, are the family and the political figure, figures as they're battling out for this property. And at times, that was really interesting. I was really uh, quite concerned with, this, uh, with, with what was happening. And it was kind of sad that this guy was just really trying his all to keep this property. And he even has a friend who is a lawyer come and help him out. But then his friend kind of betrays him in a certain way that I don't want to spoil in this review that you'll have to see the movie. But I will tell you, this movie... Is, is really long. It's an, it's an extremely long film. And for a while, I, I just... I just... I, I lost my focus. And, and I have to admit, I was a little bored by watching it. I mean, the movie looks great. The acting is well. Uh, the acting is great. Uh, the, the, the movie looks amazing. Uh, but uh, I just didn't really get involved much in the story. It, it just kind of lost me. And, you know, I'm really trying to catch up, you know, it's in a different language and, I, and the subtitles are going really fast. So maybe if I watch this movie again and maybe give it another chance, I can understand more of what's happening. But overall, I didn't find the story to be that compelling until the very end. I'm not going to say what happens in the end of this movie, but I think the final act, the movie really started to develop. And I was like, wow, it took two hours for this to actually happen, where we actually get something that is piquing my interest and is quite compelling enough to get me to actually care of well oh my gosh this is this is all going down in, in this certain way this is this is happening right in front of my eyes and it's it's tragic and sad and 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 that's the bummer about this movie i think i don't know i mean is it really that great has, has have you seen this film what did you think about it do you think it's an amazing film is it an amazing foreign language movie for me i thought it was just kind of good you know i i i enjoyed the acting and I enjoy the scenery more than I actually enjoyed the story. And, and, and I just think the story for me just wasn't that interesting enough. Again, until the very end, where it finally started to really show its true colors. And, and for that, I, 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 was, I actually started to enjoy it. I'm like, wow, I'm actually getting a little emotional as I'm watching this final ending. Because uh, it's, just, it's just tragic. And that's, that's all I want to say. I don't want to ruin anything for anybody who hasn't seen the movie yet. But overall, I, I think this is a good movie. It's not a great film. I didn't see the other films that were nominated. I don't think I saw the other film. Oh, I did see Force, Ma uh, Force Majeure at the Golden Globes. That thing was nominated. I think that was a much better film than this one. And I think 
<laughs> At least by uh, between those two, I think that movie probably should have won the Golden Globe. But when it comes to the Academy Awards, this is the one film out of the five films that I've seen, and I don't know if those other films are better. I, I hope I can find and see them before the Academy Awards, but I don't know if that's actually going to happen. We'll have to find out very soon in my own life. I can find some time, find them on Netflix or something, because none of those films are in the theaters, except for Leviathan. And, you know, if you've seen it, if you uh, enjoyed it, and you can explain in the comment box below, I'd be really interested to know uh, other people's feelings about this movie, whether they enjoyed it or they didn't. I enjoyed it to a point, but it really took two hours for me to get really emotionally involved in this story, especially near the end. Other than that, I think it's a good movie, but nothing that I'm... I don't think I'm ever going to see it again, even though maybe I should. I don't know. Put in the comment box below. Let me know what you thought of the movie. I am personally going to give Leviathan. I'm going to give it three stars out of four. I'm Movie Man Chat. Please like, comment, subscribe to my channel. I'm also on Twitter. And I'm on Facebook. And please go to WeLiveFilm.com. And subscribe right here on YouTube to We Live Film. Also go to Long Beach Acting and Film Association right here on Facebook and Twitter. Please also go to MoviePile.com. And if you enjoyed this video movie review, please click right here. Subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate it. In the meantime, have a great day, a wonderful night, and a wonderful life. And I'll talk to you in my next movie review. Bye, everyone. Peace be with you, my friends.